The World Bank has announced that it will allocate up to $30 billion as part of a comprehensive global response to the ongoing food security crisis. Now, of course, the support will be injected into areas of agriculture, nutrition, social protection, water and irrigation uh, to mitigate the shock of food insecurity. Moses Emendi has the details in this report. The world is at the brink of a devastating food crisis, with COVID-19 having its impact on the global economy. But recently, the Ukraine war has worsened food insecurity in poorer nations due to rising prices. The Russian invasion on Ukraine cut off supplies from Ukraine's ports, which once exported large amounts of cooking oil and cereals such as maize and wheat. In a move to tackle the crisis, the World Bank announced that it will allocate 30 billion US dollars as a response to the shocks over the next 15 months. This is Martin Van Newkoop, Agriculture and Food Global Director of the World Bank. He speaks on the essence of the allocation. Support is really geared I mean, to uh, support those countries that are most uh, vulnerable and affected by this uh, food security crisis. And those are mainly countries uh, in Africa, uh, the Middle East, um, Central Asia, and South Asia. I mean, uh, those are kind of in the geographical context. Russia and Ukraine are viewed as the world's breadbasket. They jointly produce 30% of the world's wheat supply and million tons of agricultural products per month. But the war has caused a reduction of global supply, exports collapsed and prices soared. The World Bank's support will be directed at poor households and will prepare farmers for the upcoming planting season. The move will also enable the prevention of export restrictions, ensuring that food trade remains open. This will prevent increases, he said. Mr. Van Newkoop again offered suggestions about what countries need to do to bail out of the current situation. Well, what countries need to do, and they can take actually very important steps. I mean, first, they need to uh, avoid adverse policies, avoiding export restrictions, because that will actually further increase the food prices that are already very high. Uh, they need to, to put in place effective targeting mechanisms to make sure that the support ends up in the, in the hands of the uh, people who need it most and the most vulnerable um, households. Uh, they need to make sure that they have effective coordination mechanism for uh, effective implementation since the support and response is multi-sectoral. And also that they need to make sure that the short-term emergency measures do not compromise I mean, the longer-term development agenda when it comes to green, resilient, inclusive uh, development. According to the World Bank, a large chunk of the support will be destined to Africa, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, Central and South Asia, where it will be used to encourage food and fertilizer production and facilitate trade. It will also support vulnerable households and producers as well. The reasons for food insecurity are many and vary from country to country, but it is generally caused by conflict, poverty, economic shocks such as hyperinflation and rising commodity prices. The war in Ukraine has invoked these effects. Moses Mendy, iAfrica News.